Hey y'all, I'm Benji, and today I'm gonna make cordage. Follow me along. So first off, we need to find us some yucca. And what I see right away is we have some beavers. Look at these trees, beavers just been eating them. You can see down here, they're throwing the sticks into the creek. Kinda cool. Looking for yucca. Some more beaver damage. So I like using yucca for cordage because it's really easy to make and it's very, very strong. Um, I'm gonna show you just how to do it as soon as I find some yucca. And here's a little bit, but um, I'm gonna leave that guy alone. He doesn't look like a very healthy plant. Maybe he'll grow into a big, strong plant. I see some over here. I don't know if you can see that over there, some yucca, I just gotta find my way to it. Here's a deer path, it looks like. Leads right over to it. I love game trails. Make it a lot easier for walking in the woods. All right, there's a yucca that we need to make this cordage. All right, to make this cordage, we're just gonna get a few leaves from this yucca tree. Got me a couple leaves. We're gonna go make some cordage. I probably got more than I need, but um, you never have too much cord. All right, next, you're gonna take your yucca. You're gonna find something smooth. I found a root on the ground right here. You're gonna lay it on top of it, and then you're just gonna scrape with, I'm gonna use the back end of a knife. We're just gonna scrape the yucca. Let's watch. All right, so we have our yucca. We have my knife. I'm gonna use the back end, the end that's not sharp. Here's my smooth surface. I'm gonna put the yucca on it. I'm just going to scrape. Let's see. Yeah, y'all can see that. And all this green just comes right off. It's like an elastic material, it feels like. Super easy. If you, have a, if you have a spoon, a spoon works really good for this scraping. I'm gonna flip it over and do the back side. All right, there we have it. This is one. Raise y'all up some so you can see me. Now, we just start to separate it. Then I go every other way when I'm laying it. And there's a fat end down here. Try to get fat end on each side. Laying it down. All right, I peeled the yucca. You can see all these little fibers here. Now we're gonna piece it together. I just grab one, and we're gonna grab a couple at first. We're gonna fold them down the middle. See if you can see this over here. I grabbed them, I'm gonna hold them in the middle. I'm gonna twist, or twist away. And twist away from me and the bottom side comes up twist away up twist away up until you start to get uh you'll see uh can you see it 
so we get a loop. Now we're gonna add more to it. I'm gonna add another piece of yucca in here, right in the middle, twist away, roll it up. Add some more. There we go. We got about 18 inches of cord here in about five minutes. Um, it gets quick. If you do all your yucca first, then you can just keep going. I only did one leaf right now just to show you guys. Sorry. Let me get into the picture. I only did one leaf for you guys, and that got me about 18 inches of yucca cordage. This stuff is very strong. I'll try to pull it apart. I, I can't. Yo, that was as hard as I could pull, and I didn't break this. This is very strong. Um, I don't know about how many strands are in each one, but very simple concept. You just, if you guys couldn't tell as you're going, 
right here. You twist it away from you and then you bring the bottom one up. Twist it away, bottom one comes up. Twist it away, bottom up. And it just makes a tension so that it doesn't come apart. They still stay together. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to try to make a whole bunch of cordage and do something with it. You'll see in a later video what we actually uh, end up doing with this. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, subscribe, follow along. I'm going to be making more videos like this because this is something I enjoy doing. Might as well share it with y'all.